Chase Payne is back with another Gold Cup video today, reviewing every match from July 11th to July 13th, basically every nation's second group stage game in this tournament. Let's start with the 1-1 one -one draw with Costa Rica and Canada. Yes, I said Canada. The Canadians were able to scrape a point versus Costa Rica, one of the biggest CONCACAF powerhouses. Alfonso, the man, the man, the legend, Alfonso Davies, I guess you could say, is such a Canadian hero. He is level for the top goal scorer at only age 16. Some people his age play the U17 World Cup. He is that young, and he somehow scored versus Costa Rica, versus CONCACAF Giants, versus a team way better than them. As for Costa Rica, the players deserve to get necked for that embarrassing performance. You know Costa Rica are in a good goal team because of draws with Canada and they've had a history of doing this. Following an impressive performance from Canada was a forfeit. Yes, Honduras got an automatic 3 points after French Guyana fielded an illegible Florent Maluda who has over 80 appearances and started in a World Cup final for France. They knew they were stupid. Hey, we knew that French Guyana would finish the group stage without a point and a negative 10 goal differential, but they thought they could be savages and look like Canada in 2000 or Greece in 2004. If I had football daily, then they'd be my idiot of the week. Okay, enough with sketchy crap as we head on to group B where we have Panama and Nicaragua. Panama edged them from a goal from Gabriel Torres. Now, they only won by a goal, just barely getting the win. But how the hell did Nicaragua lose to Martinique two goals to zero? It really isn't acceptable to lose easily to the worst team in the tournament and only barely lose to Panama. Or maybe they don't care and they're just messing around with Gold Cup teams that needed results. It looks that like that is clearly the case. So go screw yourself, Nicaragua. SMH. It means shaking my head. L-M-A-O. It stands for laughing my butt off. These two acronyms can describe USA in this tournament. Also, there's another word. Disappointment. Disappointment, SMH, and L-M-A-O are great words to describe the US. The US are CONCACAF powerhouses even if without their A-team, usually. And in this tournament, you think they get the job done. But LOL. Well, that's another word. LOL, LMAO, SMH, and Disappointment. First off, their performance versus Panama was like San Marino or American Samoa. Yet they were luckier, luckier than lottery winners to get a draw. Then they played the same, then they played the same, yet they beat Martinique by only one goal in the 82nd minute. LOL, LMAO, SMH, Disappointment. At this rate, it looks like the U.S. could even exit in the quarterfinals and ha possibly have their worst Gold Cup ever. The next game, which is in Group C, isn't disappointing. In fact, it was expected by some, in my opinion. People said El Salvador would be in less and Cur Curacao had a chance of going through, but do you really think they're making progress in this Gold Cup? This is kind of a matchup to decide who'd be third and who'd be last. But in the end, El Salvador won comfortably. And the last match is Mexico and Jamaica. And it depends on how you look at the nil-nil draw. It won't seem bad because Mexico are already comfortable at the top. And Mexico copied or even had better results than the USA with somewhat of a worse squad. So it really isn't that bad. And there isn't much reasoning for Osorio to be sacked. Anyway, that was our match day 2 review for the 2017 Gold Cup. But who do you think will finish last? French Guyana, Nicaragua, Curacao, or even El Salvador? Anyway, goodbye.